everybody, Shannon again. Uh, you happen to notice the bags under my eyes? Yes, I'm bringing attention to them right now. <laughs> it's because it's 12.35 and I've been up for a while now, but I really wanted to do this video before I forgot about it or if I lost track of time and I had to go back to school before I could film it. So, here's part two. <laughs> two. <laughs> of the haul video and this is the cosmetics beauty related section um i thought i was gonna confine it strictly to beauty and to the beauty haul but uh it's kind of embarrassing but so my friend was selling some of her things because she's moving to la and she wanted to clear out her closet before she left so she sold me two things and uh, I love them so much. I can't wait to wear them when I go back for school or I don't know maybe tomorrow <laughs> So the first thing is Yes, I love you guys know I love cardigans and grandpa sweaters and stuff that you typically find old men <laughs> wearing <laughs> That sounds really weird, but um, I really love just big Structured clothes. So right now I'm wearing something that the professor wore you ever go to lecture and then you find that you're wearing the same thing the professor is? Anyway, so this is an oatmeal colored sweater, a men's sweater. Let me do my magic zoom back. This is just an oatmeal colored sweater and it's really, really long. It goes down mid thigh. It's just a large sweater and it is so thick. And soft and cozy because the arms are enormous so you could kind of mistake them for dolman sleeves and rolled up it's really really cute and under just a collared button up then um, it adds a little bit more structure but um, if I wear a big baggy sweater like this I find then I could just throw on some leggings and it's really cozy and I find I can be a little bit dressier with my makeup and a little bit girlier with my lip color and my accessories because the sweater is just so un <laughs> not unconventionally uh, unconventionally feminine and very just not that trendy and neutral colored so this is um, I can find I can go a little bit more extreme with my makeup and my accessories so I'm really glad about that and the second thing that I bought from her oh my so cute. This is a lace dress from Forever 21. Oh, and if you guys were wondering, this was Seville Row. I don't know. Right there. If you guys can read backwards. Okay. So the second thing is from Forever 21. She said she wore it once, and I believe her because it is like in pristine condition. And it's a blue lace dress with a haltered sort of collar. And then it has kind of big armhole area, armpit, I call it the armpit area, <laughs> and which is nice, and, and it's, looking at it, it's kind of sack-like, but it's very flowy, and it's lined with cotton, so it's so comfortable, I put it on, she's, she's like, uh, yeah, it's, she's like, man, it feels you out a little bit better, because she was actually so skinny that, yeah, um, so it fits me, pretty very well. This is a small and it has a slightly ruffled out hem or like a hem like that. Really like it and paired with this white braided belt that I found just hanging at my bedpost. It looks so cute. Even my sister was like, man, I think I'm gonna borrow that. <laughs> so Moving, those are the two things that I got. I hope you guys will forgive me because they're so cute. <laughs> so, moving on to the beauty stuff. Um, the first thing I got, this was from Walgreens, and it's, um, Emily Noah has been talking about this for the longest time, and I finally caved when I saw it at Walgreens because I haven't seen it at my Target. They're either sold out or totally broken. So I totally leaped on this at Walgreens and it paid me to pay full price for this, 8 bucks. But then I swatched it and I'm like, nah, it's okay. <laughs> this blush is called Luminoso and this, ah, 
it flops around a lot. It's so creamy and then when you swatch it, it feels just silky under your finger and it's just um, very, very fine glitter like that. This shade is Luminoso and it is the Milani Baked Blush. Sorry guys, should have told you that from the beginning. And it actually has quite a few scratches on it because I have dropped this at least five times getting it just three days ago. Yeah. So the first one I dropped and I broke. <laughs> this is in the store. This is at Target and that's why I told you some, most of them are broken. Anyway, uh, so this one is like a peachy pink with tons and tons of golden shimmer that makes it so workable on my hella yellow skin tone. And it's so pretty. The only con about this is the packaging is so chubby, kind of reminiscent of the Physician's Formula packages, which is so ridiculously, like, it's not big, but it's, like, curvy. You know what I mean? You, you know what I mean. I'll show you guys in a minute, actually. <laughs> so, this peachy golden pink, very pretty. Great, just dusting little cheekbones right here. If you guys are weary of putting color on the apples of your cheeks, this is perfect. So the second thing I got finally is the Tough as Taupe color tattoo. I have the Bad to the Bronze, Full of Gold. I love them all except I think the only one I don't have is Too Cool and Tenacious Teal or something like that. They're so easy to remember because they're alliterations. So I have Tough as Taupe and I can't wait to try this out as just a neutral color because this is one of the few creamy color ones I have. Most of them are shimmery, I think, except for the orange one, the fierce and tangy, something like that. Bright orange one. Love that one too. So the next thing I got is the Blushable Cream Stick. I got this from Rite Aid. They, have a t they had a ton of clearance out. And this one I've been hearing all the rage about. This color is Mauve and Uptown. Clever NYC. Very clever. This is just a cream blush. I'm gonna put a swatch on there like that. Very, very natural, very neutral colored. No discernible shimmer. Um, blends out wonderfully. But the only thing is, I'm terrible at blending out cream eyeshadows, period. So I'm gonna need to practice with this one. This one, 75% off, so a dollar. Very nice deal. Um, yeah, like it a lot, blends out, but I just have so much trouble putting it on my cheeks, so I have to just force myself to try and practice when, like, all I have to do with this is just, you know? So, I just, this is my homework. I need to work on putting on cream blush. <laughs> so the next makeup item I got was the NYC uh, lip color. They're they're bullet ones. These are only 99 cents. This was sheer red. And I love um, these because the color payoff for these is amazing. Because I already have retro red. And whenever I wear that one, everyone's like, what color is that? Is that, you know, it's so pretty. It must be so expensive. And I'm like, it was a dollar. <laughs> so this one is the very wearable sheer red that Emily Noel, I can tell I. I really like her. <laughs> this is the one that Emily Noel keeps recommending as a wearable red. And I have to admit, I, I wear red lipstick almost every day. And I was very weary of this one because it's so, it's such that, it's such a deep red, it's kind of like the um, Revlon Lip Butter Red Velvet. It's uh, very deep, very, if you guys can see that. Um, shows up not as deep as it does in person, but um, I can't wait to try this out. It's kind of like on that vampy side, but if you know what I mean by vampy, like, you know, kind of drains the color from your face if you're a little bit more fair skinned, but I do love this color, so I'm very excited to try this out. Love that. This is sheer red. Very creamy, too. I like that a lot. And the last thing I got, I got because I tried it from my friend. My friend had this product, and uh, my sister also had this, and I tried it, and I'm like, I must have this. <laughs> because the one that I have now, the Alme makeup remover, the one in the bottle, sucks. It just sucks. Like, you, it's just like 
water does a better job of removing my makeup and it doesn't make my eyes burn like the Almay one does. Why, why would I make, why should I make a remover burn? I see, I see no purpose. You know, anyway, really bad experience with Almay makeup remover and I had no choice to use it because I had nothing else. And yeah, so I got the Sonia Kashuk, uh, Eye makeup remover. This is her fresh as water eye makeup remover. Gently that gently whisks away even waterproof makeup, and it is amazing because it has that. Well, right now in the bright light, it kind of looks like it has shimmers, but it has that sort of. Uh, it separates if it sits still too long, so it has that oil on top, um, and like the water stuff on top, and you shake it up, and it becomes that really frothy foamy uh, water makeup remover that just takes away everything and um, I was looking over at the ingredients it was so surprising it says that it has a uh, cyclotetracylosane cyclotetracylosane ah, I was right well anyway so this product is actually one of the predominant predominant ingredients in this eye makeup remover which coincidentally is also the first product. Let me see. Yes. It's. Okay, never mind. <laughs> I thought I had something, but actually, I was talking about the Makeup Forever. Their very first product is Cyclopentasilosane, while this one is Cyclotetracilosane. So I don't know how similar those two ingredients are, but. I thought that since they were the same, you know, like dissolves like, but I guess I didn't read that carefully, so I probably would have gotten an F on my chem exam if I had mixed those two up. But, um, well, it works really well because it isn't, uh, it doesn't have a ton of water in this, actually, that, um, you know, if it's like, if it's water-based, then it's uh, not going to dissolve this thick eyeshadow, this thick eye creamy eyeshadow and this stuck on mascara very well. So it's just really good and the only reason it's lavender is because they dyed it lavender. But um, I really love this and it lasts, it is going to last a very very long time. So I'm very glad about that. And that is my entire cosmetics haul. I hope you guys are a little proud that it's not so insane as my lip gloss and lipstick haul. So I'm cutting down my uh, makeup collection growth is decelerating, which is a very good sign. So, um, thank you very much for watching, and I will see you guys later. Bye.